I've been fortunate enough to have fished all over the world and I try to make sure that I get fishing as much as possible when I'm at home. And it's fishing in a large number of different places that can be a problem for anglers. I'm sure you've seen the recent news items about the killer shrimp that have appeared in places such as Grafham and Cardiff Bay. You might also have seen the terrible scenes from Norway where whole river systems have been deliberately poisoned to stop the spread of Gyrodactylus salaris, or GS. And it's very easy to see how anglers and other water users can come into contact with these destructive organisms. And we need to make sure that our tackle and equipment doesn't spread these organisms any further. And anglers, they're like children at Christmas, always adding to their collection of tackle. My friends will tell you that I'm the worst offender for taking tons of equipment to the lake, river or canal. So, what should we check? Basically, anything that has been in contact with the water. The little nooks and crannies and waders, clothing and boots. Wash down boats, check drogues, and anchor ropes. If there is anything you think that could carry an organism from one water to another, check it. If you do come across any organisms, leave them at the water body where you found them. When you hose down your kit, it's really important to ensure any washings don't enter any other water course or drainage system. Make sure all your kit is thoroughly dry before you use it again. And if you do happen to find anything later, make sure it's thoroughly dried out before carefully disposing of it so it doesn't risk contaminating drains or another water course. So it's three simple steps to stop the spread. Check, clean and dry. So that the fishing we enjoy is protected for these to enjoy. There's one. Go on kids, stop the spread. Check, clean and dry.